Thank you very much for braving the cold for free speech. In fact, free speech is rather warm. It's what gives civilization its great glow. And our friendly metaphor is blooming forth greatly in our support this afternoon. One of the reasons we're here, Stefan Molyneux, has a video on YouTube titled, Why Free Speech is All That Matters. In it, he argues that all the great moral advances of civilization, such as the abolition of slavery, were made possible only by the existence of free speech and vigorous debate of the matter at hand. Without a free marketplace of competing ideas, Stefan says, we'd be locked into stagnation and tyranny. Clearly, any man who could say such things as that is a racist and a bigot <laughs> who should not be allowed into New Zealand. And neither should his compatriot, Lauren Southern, who likes to tease Muslims that Allah is gay. <laughs> a matter on which they are eminently unteasable. And so, the Muslims, along with the mayor of Auckland, Phil the fascist, yeah. and sundry Marxists, fascists of the left, have succeeded, maybe yet to be determined, partly why we're here, in having the pair banned. For the Muslims, one Hazim Arafay says they were only coming to insult Muslims. And he says, I don't think insulting Muslims comes under free speech. Well, I hate to break it to him, but actually it does. Yeah. Insulting Muslims does come under free speech. So too does insulting Christians or Buddhists or Rastafarians or Libertarians or Atheists. Insults <laughs> might not be the ultimate form of argumentation, but they are most assuredly allowed under free speech. Muslims should grow up and get over that fact. Woo! Woo! Stop treating all criticism as insulting in the first place. This is New Zealand, not New Zealistan. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! As Salman Rushdie, himself the object of a Muslim fatwa, has put it, there is no such thing as a right not to be offended. Yeah. Now for the Marxists, who call themselves peace action, <laughs> peace, in this instance being classic Orwellian doublespeak for violence, straight out of 1984. Yeah. Peace Action has threatened, if they come here, that's Stefan and Lauren, we will confront them on the streets. If they come, we will blockade entry to their speaking venue. Well, for long-suffering lovers of free speech across the political spectrum, this was the last straw. We might disagree on everything else, but on this we are united. The right to state our view is sacrosanct. The newly formed Free Speech Coalition has founding members as diverse, don't you like that, as Rachel here, myself, and my old socialist sparring partner Chris Trotter, who has fronted for the group. In our opening salvo he said, truth is not afraid of trigger words, truth does not need a safe space, truth is not a snowflake, 
truth can take the heat and most certainly should not be forced to vacate the kitchen in the face of a couple of alt-right populists and a politically correct mayor. Bravo, Chris. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Article 14 of New Zealand's Bill of Rights says, everyone has the right to freedom of expression, including the freedom to receive, seek and impart information and opinions of any kind in any form. This is the standard to which we must now repair, and we must work for the repeal of any legislation that negates it, such as 61, section 61 Woo! of the Human Rights Woo! Under that section 61, it is a crime to insult someone on the grounds of colour, race, or ethnic or national origin. Fascism. So you can't tell Irish jokes anymore. <laughs> we must make sure New Zealand doesn't go the way of Britain, which is no longer great, no longer free, polluted by no-go zones and pockets of Sharia law, where one can be jailed for one's opinions. To the Islamo-Marxists, to fill the fascists, to politicians like Simon Bridges and David Seymour, who've been utterly gutless and useless yeah. on this issue. Yeah. Yeah. To all of them, I commend the spirit of Voltaire. I disagree with what you say, but defend to the death your right to say it. Yeah. Lauren and Stefan in, let Tommy out. Yeah. 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 Long live freedom of speech.